the hammock I'm using on this trip is a Dream Hammock Sparrow. And underneath it for the underquilt, I have a 40 degree Phoenix from Hammock Gear, and that's a three quarter length underquilt. And inside for top quilt, I have a Hammock Gear also, which is a 40 degree burl. And the temperatures are supposed to get down to right around 50, which is 10 Celsius, so more than enough. But I'm thinking about putting on an underquilt protector because it might rain just in case. Now the tarp that I'm using is from Superior Gear. It's a Superior Shelter. It's 12 foot. It has 14, I believe, tie-out points. Might have 16. And it's really easy to set up. It's easy to take down. It has little snaps so you can snap the tarp up real quickly. Underquilt protector, huh? Yeah. It may rain. It may not. <laughs> I like that optimism. Hey everybody, uh, we're just setting up at a new campsite here on Caribou Lake Caribou. in the Boundary Water. So uh, what I'm setting up with today would be a 40 degree um, hammock gear under quilt. And then also I have the uh, 20 degree because this is the only top quilt I have. It may be a little bit warm for tonight, but I have a 20 degree hammock gear top quilt. Along with that, I also have then my Blackbird. And, is it uh, the XLC or the original? The original Blackbird 10 foot double layer. Oh. Yeah, it has a double layer. Wow. Yeah, I don't know, I never used it, but. Yeah, good to have. Not sure why they made it that way. Well, I know why they made it, so you could stick a pad underneath there. Are you going to put a tarp up? I am going to put a tarp up. You got a new tarp. A new tarp. I am so very excited. Uh, today I have a new tarp from Superior Gear. And it is awesome. Uh, this tarp, you know, it has tie outs everywhere. Uh, it can be tied to trees and staked out. It is 12 feet long. And so maybe some of you watching have this. And so you know what I'm saying. This is a great tarp. I'm the only thing I'm disappointed is that I waited so long to order it. So uh, I like that. So Superior Gear uh, is uh, putting out some good products nowadays, and I do love the tarp. So maybe we'll show a picture once we get it set up. We will. We'll see it. A nice little hang there. Yeah. Check this out though. I think the tree on the other end is a little light, so it's going to rock me to sleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it should hold, so I should be okay. But look at the way that the, I deployed the superior um, tarp. Shelter. Shelter. I'm sorry, the superior shelter. Just to be no politically stakes. correct. No stakes today. No stakes. Same here. Yeah, a little tip for you guys. When Runner and I set up, we come into the woods. We always try not to use our stakes. We always try to deploy the tarp by using trees. In this case, I used two roots and the rest were on trees, no stakes. And for one thing, the trees and the roots ain't gonna budge where stakes can pop out. And the ground we're on is really rocky and hard. So there's a way of doing it, especially with the spirit shelter, it's very easy to deploy a tarp with trees and stakes like that. They have a little loop on the end, you loop it around and then you just snap it to the tarp. Very simple, right, Runner? Yeah, the superior tarp. and I. I love it that it's so big, it's bigger than my other Superfly. And uh, I had just the right trees and I tried to plan it out ahead of time so I would be able to, uh, you know, tie in that. I love that the, the manufacturers of Superior, uh, the Superior Tarp give you kind of really long, long cables to tie into. So it works out great that way. Yep. And I like how it comes with uh, bungees to fold the tarp in so you can have a cat cut or, or yeah, yeah. a rectangle cut. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love it. I'm putting a knot that I'm, you know, well, I would promote it. I'd buy this again in a heartbeat. I regret that I didn't get it maybe a year ago. Well, he didn't. It's kind of brand new to him. So no. uh, I think I got one of the latest and greatest versions that came out. And it is really, really nice. So, hey, Danny, you're doing a great job with it. <laughs> So 
Go filter them. Filter the water. It looks a little uh, on the dark side probably from Tamarack, but it's clean water, cold water. We are thirsty. On the menu today is tuna fish, abacore. Well, I got two mayonnaise. I was hoping to have horseradish. I like to mix the horseradish in there, but. Out of the horseradish, but you ate it all. Then I put it on a tortilla shell. And. Squish it up all the way up, like an inchworm. Yep. You know why me and Marine do this? tuna packets and wraps and stuff for lunch. Because neither one of us like to do dishes. <laughs> no dishes, easy to use, lightweight, great backpacking food. And also protein. The main thing when you're hiking, you're paddling, protein. Everyone thinks it's carb, it is protein. You want a meal that has at least 20 grams of protein. And I have it right here. So I have these little crunchy things or pretzels cheddar cheese from Snyder's and they work really good they're very tasty and they pack well so you don't have to worry about a crush and if you're bringing potato chips Doritos and stuff and you go to pack it they smash and you just get powder this they're indestructible but after lunch we're gonna have to get firewood and it's got to be probably close to 80 right now um, 27 Celsius it's hot and we don't have a breeze coming in but what we have here is there's a lot of mosquitoes around here but there's a ton of dragonflies out there and the dragonflies are cruising around out there and around us so it's really keeping the mosquitoes away from us there's one a couple right here so thank you dragonflies butterflies my, my little marine helicopters is what they are attack copters getting those enemies mosquitoes away Hey guys, I just took a little nap, a little snooze. I was overheating and what I did is I took the under quilt and I pushed it off to the side. And so I have the hammock underneath me and with the breeze coming underneath there, my body laying against it there with no insulation underneath me. Boy, that wind coming underneath there really cooled me off. And that's one thing guys, in the summertime, having a under quilt, uh, three quarter length under quilt or even a full length under quilt if you get hot and it's hot when you start off at the night time a little trick you just slide it off and have nothing on underneath you no insulation and when you start getting chilled slide it back on there and you're ready to go a little tip from the marine I don't know what time it is but it's got to be getting late I better get going we're gonna do some fishing tonight, but we'll eat dinner first, do some fishing, and then go uh, get a fire. We got a lot of firewood, so we might be up all night and have a nice fire and see the stars if the clouds ain't bad. If the clouds aren't out, this tarp is going back in the snakeskin, and I'm gonna be viewing the stars from this hammock. Ooh, can you imagine the view from this hammock? Ooh. All right, time to get up. Close your eyes. Back 
and I did over in that area, and we caught like two little walleyes. Is that? Well, we had to go out deep for them. Well, we found this little area, this little rock ledge coming to the lake. Beautiful view, little breeze coming in. You can feel the cool of the water in this area. We're getting out of the heat. We don't do well in heat, you guys. We're, you see our videos, we go out when it's 30, 40 below in the wintertime. We love it up here in the Boundary Waters, but 83 degrees, 29 Celsius, ew, that's not for me. I love the, I love the coolness of the summer, but not the hotness of the summer. What do you think, Runner? I agree with the Marine. Uh, today, the heat and the humidity is, uh, you know, a little bit more than I appreciate. Of course, while the Marine was down for a nap, I jumped in the lake. <laughs> I had a nice snooze. And if you know about the Boundary Waters water, it's pretty chilly, even in summer. Not for me. But it felt good. Felt really good. I love that cold. Love I that went, cold. Actually, I went under two times. So. Yeah, he went out and took a dip. Why? Two dips? Two dips. Went swimming twice while I was sleeping in my hammock. Oh, I, I caught myself snoring. I woke up and... <laughs> but, yeah, I slept good. But I, yeah, I just want you guys... Look at this. Show them that chest. Look at that. Yeah, that no, look at that no. hair on there. That, 66 yeah. years old. Not that's, bad. That's nothing that anybody wants to see. 66 years old and look at he's still coming out here he's thriving and carrying that humping that huge pack and yeah he keeps me going keeps me in line i tried to wash my hair how does it look how's your hair doing how's my hair you guys i think i washed <laughs> it nice and clean yeah i jumped in the lake and streamline i don't use any soap remember no soap in the water in the boundary waters yeah. at all how uh, about the funk coming off your body yeah well you gotta just, the cold water is, takes it off. So with all that funk off his body, don't come here uh, getting water for drinking here because it's contaminated. Oh, it is not. <laughs> I am having Mountain House. I've had these sitting around the house for many years. I thought I better start using them. And this one is chicken teriyaki. I always love uh, chicken teriyaki and hopefully it is as good as I remember. And to add to it, I got cheddar mashed taters. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna split half the taters, goes to runner and the other half goes to me. So we're gonna mix it in with my chicken teriyaki. Little fancy feet's going there. What do you got, Runner? Well, I have the old standby Chili Mac. Chili Mac. Mountain House Chili Mac. Yeah, we're both mountain men, mountain yeah. house today. We hope, hope we're not going to reach the expiration date of 2051. So. My, this one's 2052, can you believe that? And I probably had it for 10 years, so I'm, I was a little worried, but I'm, I still got another 25, 28 years. So we're going to sit down, we're going to have dinner, and... Uh, we got a beautiful view out here. It's just a nice little campsite here. The boil. Go ahead. Look at all that goodness. Dinner is served. 15 minute wait time is over. We waited patiently. And now it's time for our rewards. What I'm gonna do is take my mashed potatoes and put them in with my dinner. I like it that way. I like mixing and matching. But Runner, you're not a mixer and matcher, no, are you? No, I'm not a mixing person. No. I don't like the mix. Oh, these look fantastic. Oh, there's a lot in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Mmm, very good. Cheddar mashed taters. 
from Camp Chow. Recommend them as a supplement. We just have a spectacular view. We do. People pay to go to these restaurants and get some good food, and this isn't bad, but the view, you can't beat it. There's no restaurant that has a view like this. No restaurant. Don't get any better than this. Oh, man. Look at this, you guys. Very good potatoes. Yeah, they're really good. Of course, you probably like them. <laughs> Got one? Yeah. Oh, another small. You got a smallie. Oh. <laughs> I got one. Little small mouth. Oh, I got one. Oh, oh it's another small mouth. Just a little guy, but man, he's a fighter. A fighter. Yeah, we're catching a lot of smallmouth. Um, we're not going to be eating fish today, so we're we're not looking for walleyes. If we get a walleye, great. But a walleye doesn't fight like a smallmouth. A smallmouth, boy, they can fight like crazy. Love smallmouth. You got one, runner? Oh, I got one. We're using leeches on jig heads and bouncing them off the bottom. And I had a big leech on that jig head, and that smallmouth came out of the water, it threw that leech, and it landed right in the boat. So I get to reuse that leech again. Maybe I'll get a bigger one. Little guy. Oh. <laughs> jumped right in the boat. I thought he was going to hop right in. Just little guys, little scrappers. But it's fun. We got dragonflies flying all around us, getting all the bugs, because all these bugs are congregating and around our canoe here and all of a sudden probably about 30 dragonflies little cobras Oops. I thought I had one are flying around getting those bugs for us cleaning us up taking care of us little helicopters Underneath my hammock, clouds of mosquitoes. Well, I think it's a nice night in spite of the mosquitoes. Uh, it was beautiful out on the lake. Uh, glass, the lake was like glass out there. And uh, really, you couldn't ask for any better evening to be out on the water. So. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. Yeah, go, go check it out. Check it out.
the ferocious The mosquitoes this morning is the worst I've ever seen. We have clouds of them on us. So we're not gonna eat breakfast. We're gonna get out on the lake and maybe try to get rid of some of these. So we got some protein bars that we're gonna take with. We're gonna get on the water and then we are going to have breakfast because even with this head nut on, it's against my skin. They still are biting me. So I gotta keep this away from my face. They're just, I've never seen this many mosquitoes. <laughs> but. It was a great time, um, even with the mosquitoes, it was a wonderful time. So you guys, until the next adventure, see you on the trail.